Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do a video um, explaining why herbalism is super important right now and then also um, a little quick first aid, herbal first aid uh, thing that you can apply uh, in your life right now and it's super easy um, which is kind of the goal of all of these videos that I make. Um, so I want to talk about herbalism as resistance. Uh, that is one of the things, um, or one of the reasons why I fell in love with herbalism and, um, and growing my own food. Uh, there's something to be said for realizing that uh, the plants around you and nature can heal and um, re-correct, like course correct, whatever imbalance you're having in your body or mind or spirit. Um, once I had that realization, it made um, things just click into place really quickly for me. And um, it, it brought me a different sense of safety uh, and peace because I realized that um, I could take my power back in that sense of not needing to run to CVS every time I, you know, had a sniffly nose or um, scraped my knees or if I got allergies. Um, learning all of the things in the world of herbalism and um, and and just seeing what other people have done uh, with nature is uh, one of the most empowering things that I've ever experienced. And um, I love nature as it is, and so this field was one for me anyways, but um, it, it is an act of resistance to um, learn this field and learn about the plants around you and um, take back that power. Um, and so it is an act of resistance to plant your own food and to make your own medicines um, because, you know, you don't need Neosporin when you can go in your backyard or go um, to a local farm and, you know, harvest their weeds out of the garden and then make a salve with it. And um, I'm not downplaying the importance of doctors because doctors have saved my life. And so uh, there is a importance in Western medicine, but to create health in our bodies, uh, this is a really good way to do it. And it's one that I highly suggest um, we learn and teach each other. It's uh, like the least we can do. It's it's the reason why we're all here right now is because all of our ancestors knew the plants around them and they those plants took care of them and in turn they took care of those plants. And so, um, yeah, there's so many free resources out there and uh, I know that my part in all of this is to be a resource for other people and so um, if I can aid you along this journey at all, please feel free to reach out to me because um, it's really important to me uh, to make this accessible for everyone and uh, that's a big part of my work. So um, yeah, consider if you haven't already to go find a seed packet from like anywhere and a pot and uh, plant a seed and see like how the tiny seed will grow like even if all you're doing is um you know growing some basil which isn't it's just not all it's it's amazing to grow anything that's your own um and so yeah i, I really suggest you consider doing that um because it you'll see what i mean it's it's one of those things that you really can't uh fully explain until you do it yourself. So um, yeah, if, if you're able to do it, um, I promise you won't regret it at all. So, okay, moving on with the herbal first aid. Um, a plant that we have in the Midwest and like all over America really, um, two that I'm aware of in my bioregion are um, Plantago Major, which is this plant right here. Um, and then Plantain lanceolata. I'll put all the names below so you can <laughs> you can check because I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's it right there. Um, yeah, so these plants are amazing. There's a lot more you can do with them beyond the scope of what I'm going to discuss in this video. 
uh, they're really healing to the to the digestive tract. Um, you can drink an infusion of these every day, and uh, it's so nutritive to the body that uh, it's it acts as a tonic in many ways. Um, but for today, I wanted to discuss its healing properties um, on the skin and specifically wounds. So say you are out and about in nature and you fall down and you scrape your knee and you're like, well crap, I don't have any Neosporin or I don't have any uh, herbal salve that I just made, <laughs> which is what we want to get to. Um, what can I do? You can find this plant. So find the plant, make sure you've correctly identified it. Uh, I suggest you um, go out and find it. Uh, it, it grows wild everywhere. I mean, even in cities, it's it's a weed for sure. So it it's everywhere. Uh, go find it, identify it. Uh, once you know it, you won't forget it. Um, you'll put the leaf in your mouth after you know that the area you're in hasn't been sprayed, um, and that you've correctly identified it. And you will chew it up, and you're not going to swallow the spit because your spit has healing properties in it. So um, you'll take the spit and the plantain and you'll put it on your scrape or your, like whatever um, wound you have going on, as long as it's you know clean. But um, when you do this, it's going to create a healing environment and it will start cell repair, it will prevent scarring, um, and you'll be really surprised as to how quickly um, your, your wound heals. And um, you can like continually reapply the poultice um, and it will just do its thing and then you'll you'll see what I'm talking about and all of this passion that I have for herbalism because um, you'll see it work. You'll see it work much more quickly than if you just had Neosporin. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how you make a spit poultice out of plantain and that's just one way to use it. You can also make a salve out of it um, and uh, if you're interested in that and you don't know where to start, feel free to message me. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening and I will have more videos uh, that involve plants that are super abundant and um, weeds quote unquote uh, because then they're more accessible um, to everyone else. So, and better for the environment. <laughs> so harvest your weeds and your invasives. Uh, that's really important too. So yeah, message me if you have any questions and be well. <laughs>